How men feel about dating a virgin. Hello and welcome to Chengi's world. I'm Chengi and you, my precious one, are my world. Thank you so much for joining me on today's video. And I really wanted to talk to you about my mentoring program that I have decided to create. Uh, please contact me if you want to be mentored. It's going to be amazing. Contact me at contact at chengisworld.co.uk and just say, Chengi, I want to be mentored. Yes, because I'm going to be starting a mentoring program that is going to be amazing. So moving on from there, let's talk about being a virgin, how men feel about dating a virgin. I don't know if this is going to be a one or two part video, but I really want to address this because it's come up in the comments, it's come up on my socials. A lot of women who are 30 and over, 25 and over, 40, 50 year old virgins are in my inbox and there is a particular cry and a particular plea from the virgin woman that I completely understand because when I got married the first time I was a virgin, I had been raised in the church, it was for religious reasons to keep myself back the doctrine that I had been taught was that when you're a virgin then you are special you earn special brownie points and God will select the very best of men for you and you'll be front and center you get to start the race off a little bit more ahead than all the other girls you become super 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 high value so all you've got to do is be a virgin and the relationship stakes uh, will fall in your favor. Basically, that is the doctrine that I was raised on. And for many of the women that contact me via my socials, that is also some of the doctrine that you've been raised on. And you have now gone past your 20s, you've now gone past your 30s, some of you are in your 30s, some of you are getting into your 40s, some of you are hitting your 50s, and some of you probably are nearer to 60, and you're still a virgin and you're wondering, uh, somebody lied to me, okay? Something is not quite right. If you're in your 20s, guys are really not trying to date you. They're like, virgin, what? Next, bye. Uh, if you're in your 30s, uh, maybe everybody's trying to date you, but you are probably not quite firing at the right cylinder for the kind of man that you want. Um, you know, the bottom line is you were supposed to be the winner in the relationship stakes. You were supposed to be the high price item. And guess what? You are having to work it out just like everybody else in the relationship world. And this is the bit that sucks. So let's talk about why it's just so amazing and so valuable to be a virgin. And I, and, and I want to say this first because of what I'm going to say later. And I want to make sure it's said because I know somebody's going to be in the comments giving me the whole da, 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 whatever. Okay, so I want to make sure that this is said. Number one, being a virgin is amazing for the reason that you're never going to have to worry about STIs. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. You know that you are going to have good health. Uh, by and large, it's not a guarantee, but at least you know that you're not going to have an STI. Number two, you don't have to deal with soul ties that come from sexual intercourse with multiple partners, right? So we don't have to be doing long-term, big old deliverance rituals on you, but that doesn't mean that you don't need some kind of deliverance. It doesn't mean that there aren't any soul ties that you may have acquired because sex is only one of the most powerful, um, efficient way of getting soul ties, but there are other ways of getting soul ties, okay? And there's another video, another time, and we will discuss that some other time. But it doesn't mean that you're pure, but at least you are further away from having a soul tie than anybody else. So well done to you. Number three, you never have to worry about the oxytocin bonding with somebody and getting addicted to somebody else's body and the heartache that is 10x when you are sexually active with somebody that you're breaking up with. So these are some of the reasons why God wants uh, you know, us to be sexually pure because he wants to save us the heartache. Purity and sexual purity is really about your personal walk with God, your personal uh, clarity of conscience, your personal decision to to journey with God in a, in a certain kind of way and, and it makes life so much easier for you, okay? So virginity is for you, it's for you and God and it's something that if you are a virgin and maintain your virginity, I want you to hold on to it, I want you to treasure it, I want to honor, I want you to honor it, I want you to write on that, on that, on that juice and I want you to feel good about yourself for being a woman who knows who she is. 
about herself. So this is not me saying, um, the following is not me discouraging you or in any way making you feel like it's a complete waste of time. But what I do need to make very clear to you, and I'm very, very passionate about this, very passionate because I was a 19 year old virgin when I got married and I can imagine because what it took for me to get to remain a virgin up to the age of 19 was really an exit from thinking the way that most people think living the way that most people think you know whilst other girls were getting hugs in school from boys I was like no whilst other girls were experimenting learning about boys I was like no so my whole um, life in and around men was this small because in order for you to maintain virginity, especially over decades and past your teens really, requires a certain vigilance and that vigilance um, can turn into prudishness and that vigilance can turn into a religiousness and that vigilance can turn you into a non-sexual being, right? You can, without knowing it, become an asexual, non-sexual being in terms of your vibration as a woman. And the problem with that is also that the longer you are a virgin, the, the more the decades pile up and you're a virgin, your expectation of what sex is, how we should feel in your first time is through the roof. You also feel like because you have been considered and faithful and waited so long that you must have uber man like this man must be like a god from you know god has to actually create him especially for you like you're not prepared to handle and deal with the blokes that every other woman is handling because you feel like you should really get better. And this is the problem that I've had and experienced with a lot of women that are virgins um, past a certain age, especially past 30, is they just won't set, they just won't consider a guy who's just not uber gorgeous, uber rich, uber spiritual. He's gotta be a man of God. He's gotta be able to, you know, you know, <laughs> carry her in the spirit. You know, they're looking for this non-existent entity of a man because for some reason I've been good. And I find that happens too with women that have been celibate for a very long time. Because the mindset, like I said earlier, that it takes to stay in that is not necessarily conducive for dating and courtship and, and, and the whole sort of mating ritual. I'll tell you why. Because men, three, two thirds of men marry for sexual and sensual stability. Most men out here on these streets, including high value men, do not expect to meet a virgin. They don't expect to meet a virgin. And when they are ready to marry, especially a woman who is past the age of 30, 35, they're expecting her to bring some confidence and sexual experience into their bedroom because guess what? They've been there, done that, enjoyed the rest of whatever. Now they're settling down with one sexual partner. Remember, these two thirds of men are, are settling down for one sexual partner and what they want to feel is that they're gonna have fun having sex with this woman for the rest of their lives. What a, um, the average amazing high value guy doesn't want to do is have the responsibility of being your disappointment. Because I hate to break it to you, but a large proportion, I don't know what percentage, but off the top of my head, I would probably say that 95% of your first sexual experience of virgin is gonna be either awkward, uncomfortable, or painful at worst, okay? But at best, is gonna be awkward. Even when two people that are sexually active, have been sexually active, start to have sex for the first time, it is awkward. It is awkward, but at least they don't have the added awkwardness of them not ever having sex. So it is already a weirdo situation when you've had sex. And most men just do not want the responsibility of being your first time and being a disappointment. And we're talking about older men who probably have lived a little and even younger guys, they don't want to be responsible. It's a mighty responsibility. I remember talking to, um, you know, a, a, a guy friend of mine, and he said, I remember talking to a guy friend of mine, and he said, Chengi, I really don't want to deal with a, with a virgin. I'm really not about that life. You know, it's not because he doesn't want a virtuous woman. And this is the point that I'm going to discuss in the next video. So keep tuned for the next video. I'll see you soon in the next video.